Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Today, we are going to talk about the importance of sperm motility. Why is it that we look at sperm motility in particular in addition to sperm concentration and morphology? What is the relevance of sperm motility? According to WHO standards, the total motility in a sample should be at least 40% of which progressive motility should be 32%. What is progressive motility? Any sperm that moves forward, that is motile, is termed as progressively motile sperm and sperms that are twitching, that are not moving, but you can make out they are alive, are called as non-progressive sperms. Those that are not moving at all, whether they are alive or not, we don't know yet until we do the vitality assessment, but those that are not moving are called as immotile. So what is the importance of motility in sperms? Sperms are needed to be motile because once they are deposited in the cervix area, the semen is left behind and the sperm swim up. You can see here in this picture, sperms are swimming up. So the motility is very important because sperms need to move from area A to area B. So motility is very important. Now during this, there is a very good competition between the good sperms and the bad sperms. The bad sperms as in morphologically poor sperms are not able to reach the egg which is waiting in the tube. So morphologically good sperms only have good motility. Therefore, this motility aspect is also like a filter aspect because poor motility sperms will be left behind and only good motility sperms will reach the egg. So it is like a competition also between sperms. The more the motility, the better the chance of the sperm to reach the egg. Not just reaching the egg, fertilization capacity also is with the motile sperm. Once a progressively motile sperm reaches the egg, only that sperm, a motile sperm, can penetrate the egg. The egg is a stationary uh, cell, but the sperm is moving. So only a moving sperm, a sperm that is having motility, can penetrate the shell of the sperm. So this is a very important aspect as well. Motility is very critical. And uh, when it comes to, in a natural conception, you can see here that the sperms are deposited here. The sperms need to swim up and the egg is fertilized in the tube. During IUI, intrauterine insemination also, motility is a very important aspect because sperms are left inside the uterus through a very thin catheter and sperms swim till the tube to fertilize the egg. So, motility is very important for natural conception and for first line of treatment called as intrauterine insemination. In IVF, suppose we are talking about IVF and does uh, motility also play an important role there, you need to understand that motile sperms can be easily picked because they are alive and inseminated into the egg. However, if a sample is totally immotile, naturally trying for conception, trying for pregnancy is not possible or with IUI it's not possible. But with IVF, even if the sperms are immotile, we can still try for pregnancy because there are certain reagents, there are certain solutions which can be added to the sperms and which will help the immotile ones, the alive ones, the vital ones to start moving and therefore those sperms can be selected and injected into the oocyte to bring about the formation of a embryo which can be transferred into the uterus to bring about pregnancy. So motility although is important for natural conception and for IUI, for IVF it is very important definitely but if it is not there we can bypass this by certain solutions and bring about pregnancy. If you wish to understand more, if you have been diagnosed as someone having no motility in sperms, uh, which is also called as asthenozoospermia, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.